Good. Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. If you remember this kind of outfit when I did all my all white, we're a little bit more glam with the chandelier earrings today. But if you remember this outfit, it was from an unboxing of this brand, Gucci. And it was nerve wracking too. I'm going to get straight into this. If you have watched my wish list video, if you have watched my vlog sale video, you may know that I purchased a bag from the one and only Gucci. My God, their carry bags are huge. So here we are down inside the box. This is the joy of purchasing off the Design House website. You get, you get an actual box. Purchasing off netaporte.com, my Teresa, and Farfetched, and all of those stockists for these fashion houses. I've said it before, they don't offer the shipping with a box. Obviously, they may not get the actual merchandise in a box themselves. It may be packed, just a bag pack. A bag send say from the actual design house the design house hold the box rights type thing for their boutiques so this is off gucci.com .au. here is my receipt return slip and all that good stuff when I did this unboxing last time I was freaking out because of the color maybe that tells you Alrighty, so the big Gucci box, and it is a magnetic box, because everyone is doing magnetic boxes. Down inside, you see the dust bag. So here is the Gucci Satine dust bag, and let's go ahead to show you what did I get from Gucci. Oh, you're not really going to be able to see straight away, because it is packaged to death. Woo! Okay. Honey, listen, with that protection wrap and the bubble wrap, they, Gucci are not playing. That thing was, that, that was the biggest struggle ever. I'm glad I didn't, sometimes like I'll stop recording and other times I'll just let it record and cut it if it's too long. Listen, I had to take a pee break, that was so long. Okay, I got all the wrap off. I haven't looked over it. Let's do that together. But here, oh my goodness, here is my new Gucci Marmont flap in the colour Porcelain Rose, which is the famous nudie kind of beige colour. It does get named different things. I have said that before when I unboxed the mini camera bag or the mini blogger bag that I have just sold. <laughs> when I unboxed that, I did tell you that there was confusion on websites because some websites were saying nude. Gucci sometimes says nude. Other websites say porcelain rose. And um, yeah, some say pink or beige. Many different names, but it officially is called porcelain rose by the design house. So Gucci name it porcelain rose. And even though, in my opinion, the Soho Disco in the tanny beige is called Rose Beige and I feel like that should have been the name of this leather colour because that's exactly what it is. It's like a dusty, rosy, beige, kind of like a dirty pink almost. I have had the Gucci Mum online in this colour in the mini blogger bag or the mini camera bag in the Marmont line that I've just sold in my vlog sale and I had the Marmont uh, interlocking GG zip around wallet which I also just sold in my vlog sale uh, and now I have this bag. I adore this colour. I think it is the epitome of beautiful. It also reminds me a lot of that kind of dusty gorgeous uh, I think it's got much more of a peach undertone of the Chloe Nile bag I have adored that bag for a year and a day I I have just seen Amanda and I've seen Shay unbox theirs and I'm like it's drawing me back in I'm just like no 
The only thing I can't get past is it does not fit my phone perfectly. Lydia was saying hers doesn't fit very well in it. And I was just like, oh my gosh. But this is beautiful. This is calf leather in the matelasse quilting. So here the bag is to give you a nice look. And for me to have a little check out too. I just want to go over it. So it's so beautiful with the matelasse in the chevron and then you have kind of the uh, uh, rainbow quilting on the side here. You have the interlocking GG with the antique gold hardware, exactly the same as my blogger bag. And then on the back you have the iconic heart of theirs now with the same layout of the chevron uh, matelasse quilting which is beautiful. And here is the uh, shoulder strap that can be made cross body. It's a thread, it is a thread through. That is kind of a theme of the bags I'm picking up at the moment. The Saint Laurent Lulu is a thread through as well. So it has one leather break, which you can see here, which is in the same calf skin in the matter, in the, sorry, in the porcelain rose color. And it threads through, double on the shoulder single on the shoulder or crossbody. Looking up close here just to go over the details nicely with you guys. So I like doing this in unboxings. I like going over the details in unboxings. I know some girls in the community just pull out the bag and show you. But when I'm researching the bag, like this bag, I like to see in unboxings the details then and there. So I'm just more like waiting for their review or something to go over the details is sometimes a little bit too long. So the way you open this is it's not a popper, like my Saint Laurent was the popper I was showing you, like a snap closure. This is, you push the lock at the bottom here so there is the bottom, the bottom bit here, there is a lock there. You push that and it pops open like so. So it's very secure and then you just push it back in. I prefer this kind of closure to a snap closure just because it finds itself and you just push it in and it's kind of less hassle, I'm going to say. I think if it wasn't as stuffed, it probably is a little bit harder to close or maybe find it and push against it, but that's okay. So it's nice and stuffed. Let's get that out. So just like my mini Marmont blogger bag or camera bag was, it's that same microfiber or micro grain kind of micro suede feeling interior in this peachy kind of nude color as well. And you can see here it has the tab that says Gucci made in Italy. Underneath this tab it will have the control numbers and the made in stamps all underneath there. This is just a one compartment bag with a back wall zipper closure. And it is quite substantial. I would say it's almost the length of the back wall there which you can see going all the way across. In here we have the control cards and the leather swatch, which Gucci always has a lot of. Control tabs, care booklets, care cards, and a leather swatch of the Porcelain Rose uh, calfskin. So I like this back pocket, it makes it easy. I always tend to put my key, my car key in there, my car fob. Uh, so I can find it if I'm locking the car nice and easy. The zipper pull here is just the leather tab. So that was very much like the wallet that I had. Just had the leather tab there that you can see. Then all new Gucci items have no engravings. Obviously it doesn't bother me now. It would be beautiful if they returned to doing that. Having Gucci Italy engraved because my Boston Sulky bag has that. And I think it's just timeless, really, really original designer feeling. So let's go ahead and try, like put some items in this and see what it holds. And then I'll do some mod shots. Just tilted the camera down <laughs> again. I think it's just such a better angle to sort of see, see items that fit inside the bag as well. So here we go. Um, I've got my bag here so I can just take items out. So pushing up to open. There we go. 
be a good view. Okay, let's start with phone. Phone is always the first option. I still have my Louis Vuitton uh, iPhone 7 plus 8 plus folio case on my phone. I will go ahead and just pop that in just in the front, like laying down like so. I'm gonna go ahead and put my wallet in. I am using a full length wallet, my Emily wallet from Louis Vuitton. I have to change out of this, but this is my Chanel O case in the lambskin leather. I was gonna change out to my toiletry 15. I can show you if that fits in here as well. But lining them up there, that fits, that leaves me space for my extra cards in my Louis Vuitton card case and my keys in my multi-clay in Damieri bin. I can just slot them down and then I'll need my car key and as I said I can just pop that in the back. There we go. So they're quite big items, I would say. So a lot, a full length wallet, that's a big item and it's quite stuffed with coins, cards and cash. Then I have uh, my O case and that's quite stuffed as well. It's got my earbuds and things like that in there. Then I've got the key at the back. So that is pretty, that, that, I would say that is everything that I would need as such. Like that's everything out of my handbag. But that's all in there and just looking in the side, I could fit sunnies on top if I wanted to just in a little dust baggie. Uh, I don't have them in a dust baggie, but these are my Chloe's, my Chloe Caroline. Let's do a bam, bam. Oh, these are so cute with this outfit. Perfect with the peach tones. Oh, I'm gonna leave these on for my mud shots. They could probably just rest on top and still do up yeah wow actually that's fantastic that really holds a lot and it's still not bulging or anything so basically i'd say it's like a single flap if the uh, medium to large chanel classic came in a single flap that's kind of what this size would be like because you don't have the double flap to contend with let's just go ahead and show you a more compact version so we will leave the phone in there we will leave the car key in the back i've got my uh o zip around um, as a wallet uh card case as a wallet i could add my keys maybe not needing my extra cards, no. I will show you putting in my toiletry 15 instead of the O case. So it does fit, and then I'll just put the wallet back in. It fits a bit better. So it does fit my toiletry 15 perfectly. That's totally fine. See, I would not be putting my toiletry 15 in my uh, medium to large double flap Chanel. No way, no way in hell it would not fit. It would not fit comfortably at all, but look at that. That's perfect. That fits so nicely. Oh, I really like it. Okay, let's step back and do some mod shots, shall we? I will just, bam, put my Chloe's back on because why not? Okay, so double strap on me again, 5'8". A little more curvy. Oh, nice drop. It's a longer drop than the Chanel... Uh, medium to large it is yeah a, no, a nicer drop actually it's it sits right on the elbow obviously I have heard you know that it can flatten over time um, like being pushed can squash it flat over time because it's very very uh, pliable sort of malleable leather so I can see that happening let's thread it through and show you on my shoulder so it hits right at the bum right on the top of my bum which is cute so it's got quite a nice long drop for the taller girls I think if you are on the more petite height wise it could be quite long uh, up to you it can cross body so cute really cute I like that there's even that option same with my Saint Laurent obviously my Lulu hits higher on me because I am taller if you are more petite this is going to be perfect drop for you I will say it's a little bit longer drop than the boy drop uh, it's 
it, it's a little the boy drops to about here on me um, but yeah it's it's nice nonetheless it's such a comfortable bag wow it's really comfortable <laughs> what a goose look at me in my glasses seriously not a dull moment here not a dull moment okay final thoughts on my first impressions well firstly it is Stunning. It is in beautiful condition. There is not one nick or scratch or anything. Sometimes I get like super nervous with these uh, Not the unboxing not to unbox with you guys if something was wrong Obviously you'd be able to see it. I'd be able to see it But when you buy online, you know, you can't inspect in the store. You can inspect You know the item before you purchase it obviously online that is why they give you full return full exchange because you know there might be something wrong with it or you might not be happy but perfect perfect condition wow so yes yeah, so stoked really happy really happy so well done gucci.com.au i'm really glad that you had this on your site there was a wait period to be honest i can't believe it came in now this fast because there was a wait period i think it said up to like you know, it could come in and we would charge you when we ship it out. So they charged me, they charged my account when they shipped it out. However, they said that could be any time between the 3rd, meaning March, and August. And I was like, whoa! So it's a sit tight kind of thing. Like they'll let you know if they've shipped it out. Which to me was fine. I wasn't in a rush. I obviously had to do my vlog sale first. To sell my camera bag like my blogger bag first to acquire this but wow wow is all I can say stunning bag stunning in person perfect resting on the box so that is it guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch this unboxing if you enjoyed it please go ahead and give me a thumbs up I am so excited to announce that in my info box, in my down bar below, I always put, I'm a fashion file blogger and I always put my top picks from fashionfile.com. So I used to do it a lot like way back when I first became a fashion file blogger. I put one or two items or like one, yeah, one item, like my favorite item from the site. I started getting emails from people saying like, you know, I looked at that item, I saw, you know, I would find, I would, it's all me. I searched the website, I found, I found like all the zippy compact wallets in the flat lay that I could find that Fashion Pile had listings for and I would list them and, and I would get emails like, oh my gosh, I bought that one in Monogram, it was the flat lay. So I'm so excited, I get so happy that people use that because just when I'm browsing the website, they're my picks. They're actually my personal picks. So I'm like, oh, like, I love this Dior bag, but, you know, I can't afford it, but I'm going to put the link there. So anyway, I've made that section a lot bigger now because people were saying that they looked at the items and or bought the items. So please check out that little paragraph below. It's called my top picks of fashionfile.com. And yeah, have a look at all of the items that I chose. I am so excited to tell you that I think, I think it's in the works. I'm not sure if it's 100% yet, but I think Sarah and the team are going to add it to fashionfile.com to the actual web page, like Jerusha's Picks. So I will keep you posted on that because if that comes to fruition, that is so cool. Like basically what I would choose, what I want to shop from will be on the front page of fashionfile.com. That would be so, so cool if that happened. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel already and you wish to do so guys, that would be great. There is a button below with a bell next to it. If you hit that bell, you will get notifications of all my new videos. I will see you in my next video guys. Take care. Peace. Again.